Welcome. Hi. We are on, on we are currently on location filming today in a random park. 20 days, day 20, whole 30. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? What results have we had? What are we eating? What are we drinking? Nothing. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> updates, 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 updates. Cool. So today's February 1st. It's day 20 of the whole 30. How do you feel? Fabulous. Me too. I feel wonderful. That's, it's funny. That's so the first question typically we get asked for me anyway is like, how do you feel? And for me, I'm like, dude, I feel Bam! great. We're crushing it. Yeah. I feel really great. Always. I don't feel exponentially better than we did the first week. I don't know. I yeah. I have just felt great the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little tired there maybe around like day like six, five, six, Last seven-ish. Week. The sec, the middle two weeks yeah. were rough. It wasn't tired. rough. It was tired, just little... rough, fatigue. <laughs> um, yeah, but we're feeling great. We're feeling energetic. We're doing five, six workouts a week. Yep. Um, crushing it. So at the beginning of January, obviously we hadn't started the whole 30 yet, but we set kind of a goal for ourselves that we each wanted to lose 10 pounds, and today is the first day of February, and we both lost 10 pounds! (laughs) 10 pounds is like two and a half a week, so that's that's really good. So if we can just shoot for that, we're gonna shoot for that again this month, so we'll see how that goes. Yes. We're just gonna continue to do the whole 30, up until day 30, and then after day 30, we're going to do what is called the reintroduction period. So that's part of the Whole30 program, is after it's over, you've eliminated all of these potentially problematic foods from your diet for 30 days, and then you're supposed to reintroduce them one by one to find out if you are sensitive to any particular food item. So that's supposed to take another like 30 to 60 days, where most of the time you are eating pretty strict Whole30, just with, for example, um, integrating beans into your lunch and then having an apple with peanut butter for dinner not completely going off the rails and, and having yeah uh, so you so you would just do like if you're doing like you know beans or and legumes or whatever that's what you would do and so it's not just going completely off the rails and eating pizza and ice cream which is like it defeats the purpose because then you can't tell you're gonna feel sick and then you're like hmm, was it the dairy was it the gluten was it the cheese was it the sugar and the red sauce you're gonna have no idea so that's really the goal after after you do the 30 day reset. So we're definitely excited for that. Last time I did the whole 30, I did not do the reintroduction period. Nope. Because. What'd you go? Straight to low stones? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I feel so much different this time around. I feel like just. Really? Yeah. I feel like. Healthy. We're eating such a different <laughs> variety of foods. We're not ever hungry. We're, we aren't tracking our calories or our macros or whatever. You're not supposed to on the Whole30. Oh, you're not? And it's, no. So you're just supposed to eat, like, intuitively, and you're supposed to just eat all these good foods until you're no longer hungry, which is how we learn to eat as, as infants. And then <laughs> all of a sudden we're like, I gotta track my food! <laughs> which is fine if you have really specific goals and, you know, there's a time and place for that. But I think you know, in my opinion, for most people, you should just learn how to eat intuitively. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. At the end of this, because I've really struggled with that. Mm -hmm. And we've tried new foods, which has been my goal as far as actually cutting the sweet potato. What did you try? (laughs) You tried cutting your own potatoes? (laughs) Well, and making my own sweet potato fries. And just like I don't really actually cooking the food that we know, new food. <laughs> I, but it's actually cooking the food that we know how to cook, I guess. And like, yeah. And I don't know what else have we tried that was new. I will say though is like the fresh almond butter is yeah. amazing. Before so we good. started the whole thirty, we were getting a lot of meals from like Fit Foods and stuff, which is absolutely wonderful. And or bite meals, yeah. And we've online. done we've done a really good job when we've had those pre prepared meals, but. Just cooking our own meals is, it's just different. It makes you, it makes you feel a little bit different. Yeah. Instead of like, oh, food, fuel, eat, blah. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're like, you're like taking the time to cook your meal and cut the pineapple and slice the potatoes. And it's just, I don't know, for me, because I love cooking. So it it's fine. almost, it it's so almost good. easier, I think, when you have the, all these restrictions or rules to, yeah. to prepare food for yourself. Yeah. Just because it's like, you know exactly what it is. And I think that should translate over into life too, is that you shouldn't really rely on like the meal prep services which like i know we did in the month of august 
we both lost 10 pounds also and like all we ate was, was fit, fit foods. foods breakfast lunch and dinner and it yeah. was great yeah but i think there's a time and place and i think it should be kind of worked into your healthy um your own cooking schedule yeah and just supplemental like yeah. a crutch we try not to like just because like chipotle has a whole 30 approved bowl doesn't yeah. mean that we eat there for every meal right it means like oh if there's not a whole foods if there's not a fit foods if we don't have anything prepared yeah. we will go there so we've got 10 days left. What's the plan for those 10 days? What um, are we going to do? What are we going to eat? More so cows. We did buy another box of Daily Harvest smoothies. Yep. So we we bought a lot of them. And we weren't drinking them fast enough. We were ordering 24 a month, which was way overkill. Because she doesn't drink the green ones. Well, you buy all the, c- 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 the chai coconut Ginger, ones. Ginger. Um, I think we're just going to stick with... Um, well, we we ate for probably like two weeks. We ate that soup that I made, so we're gonna have to figure out like maybe it's a new soup that we make. Um, maybe it's like a little bit different variation. Mm-hmm. Um, oh yeah, because I got scallops. I can do scallops with something. Yeah, yeah. We had salmon. Um, eggs are really great. So I um, the first couple weeks we would just kind of make them in the morning or put them in a little to-go container and heat them up in the microwave at work. But last week I made on Sunday night, um, I just put like 18 eggs in the blender. <laughs> um, no, seriously, do this. If you ever have to like scramble up a lot of eggs, put them in the blender. Throw them in the blender, seriously. Yes. It takes a second. The Vitamix makes it fluffy. Oh yeah. So it you know gets the air, makes them fluffy, but it blends them up all the way and you don't have to be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So then you just like uh, like grease up a muffin tin or a, a like mini loaf pan or cupcake tin or whatever you want. Yeah, and you just dump the eggs in there. And you could add like sausage or turkey or spinach, spinach or mushrooms, whatever, olives, whatever you want, however you want it, tomatoes, and then uh, whatever you want, oven. cook it in the oven 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, mm-hmm. and then Until they're, they're like the little cakes. Yeah, so they're super nice and super fluffy, but you store them in the fridge and you just pull one out, take it to work, heat it up in the microwave, or yeah. heat it up in the microwave before you leave. So, and you know, it's like bite size. It's yeah. just easy to eat, so. I love like avocado with like everything but the bagel seasoning and eggs, runny eggs with the yolk sauce. Yeah, so we We're don't- excited. Feel, we don't feel like deprived at all. We don't feel like we just like need to have a piece of chocolate. Um, I think last time I did, or the first time I did it the whole way through, I just wasn't eating a big enough variety of foods. So I think that's kind of what was my issue. What were you eating? Um, a lot of almonds. I really, I can eat almond butter now, but it's Mm. hard for me to eat a lot of almonds just plain because I had eaten so many. (laughs) And we're eating a lot of fruits and veggies too, like bananas and raspberries and blueberries and blackberries. Fresh. Pineapple. Fresh. Um, also integrated, like frozen into the smoothie, but fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you want to add? I'm excited just to keep going. I... Me too. I'm like really excited. So I started actually. So obviously the the founder of the Whole Thirty. There's a Whole Thirty book, but then there's this like the following book, which is called Food Freedom Forever, and it's all about the reintroduction. So I've been listening to that on Audible, and it's been really cool just to kind of listen to it and understand that you're not just doing like a reset and then just going back to your old habits like you're supposed to like really try to make like integrate this and and create new habits and eat better and know what doesn't sit well with you that's you know what the reintroduction is for but then eating like that but then also knowing and expecting yourself to fall off the rails every once in a while and that's okay but just knowing how to get back to your good habits and, and not just let that take you downhill for two years mm-hmm. so. yay so beautiful what was this <laughs> i don't know what was happening <laughs> that's it 10 more days we'll give you an update on day 30 we'll give you an update on day 31 day 32 day 33 our whole reintroduction period yeah I think pretty much fun to do yes so all right so that's our, our update boys. that's our update day 20 Three, two, one. Get real. <laughs>